for me to read them off and you to discuss or how however we want to do it um either way is fine yeah you just go for it and, and is this everything right now that we have or is there anything else we're missing or uh not for this um, this warrant or this okay. uh, time okay okay so go thank you mr chairman yeah. Yeah. So when we have a couple of items here. Uh, in part, we actually have big items, but we didn't bring it up this time around because, uh, in part, I came on board during this process. Mm -hmm. So I had I didn't have a, enough time to be able to put together that big package to be able to defend. Plus, also talking with the town administrator, um, he feels that probably they fall. Be better, but yeah. for for now, because of some of the urgency at hand, we need these few items to be able to begin uh, the task ahead. Mm -hmm. If you look at Mr. Chairman, we're, we're requesting hundred thousand for cleaning and repair of ditches. Um, I don't need to tell this committee concerning the drainage system in town. The ditches, the, um, the impact on community dwellings, the impact on roads, the impact on everybody. So to embark on this process is going to take us probably three to five years to complete. Mm. And so we want to begin the process. We have a lot of ditches. In my, in my review, find out that over 10 years, we haven't cleaned the ditches and the waterways and so we have blockade at every point. We also have uh, coverts that are collapsing uh, around them. We also have unsafe, unsafe waterways that needs to be defended. If you look at uh, Mill Valley, for example, you, you see, and uh, quite frankly, the town is very exposed. Mm -hmm. So we want to begin the process of cleaning the ditches, um, opening the waterways, uh, building back a couple of uh, basins that are already collapsed and also uh, begin the process of uh, uh, s putting some safety markings on and uh, cleaning areas where we have uh, ditches and uh, coverts. Mm -hmm. in, fact, in fact, to be able to allow the water to move. Now, even with the money we spend on roads, the water sits on the roadway is water on the road we're not supposed to mix. Mm -hmm. So we see water sitting on the roadway because they don't have any place to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, indirectly also, or, or directly also, it's impacting on the dollars spent on the road. Mm -hmm. So it breaks up the road. It, so mm -hmm. we go back again. The road that was fixed two, three years ago is now very on high risk because of water. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're asking for a, for a down payment of 100,000 to get us going. Some of these money will be used for engineering also. So, so would this be, a, you're saying three to five years? Yes. Are you talking about asking for 100000 per year? Or would that be an no. escalating amount? No, I will not ask for 100000 a year. With the initial stage is this 100000 It will cover a lot of things for us. Uh, we are going to be very aggressive if we're given the opportunity, the fund to begin because I don't have enough employees to handle this money. So I may get one or two contractors. We also need engineers to help us in some specifications. Especially the areas where the issue we are discussing requires me to go before conservation on many areas. It also requires me to come before the select board to explain my scope of work. So. Is this on or Will any of this be on private property too? Will you have to get permission? Uh, or mm, so if, uh, if I need to go into private property, I will need to get permission. But I don't, uh, our first phase will not be going to private property. But there's a, eventually some of them may require that. I'll come before the select board uh, we, and we may need permission. But right now we just want to deal with areas that is within the town right of way. Yes. Thank you. And so are you, do you have certain roads in mind that you're going to start this on? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Um, Mill Valley is a big one. Mm -hmm. uh, Rocky Hill is another one. 
We also have uh, Bay Road. Uh, we, 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 we plan to start on those three roads. And then we also have Spruce Street. Um, we find that uh, many of many residential driveways, some of them have uh, 10 to 12 inch pipes under the apron for the driveway, but they're all clogged. Hmm. So that as water is coming through the swale, the water hits, it goes to the road. So we have to clean that, those, those places, yes. And some may require replacing as, a, as opposed to clean. Okay. We also have a couple of uh, driveways that the town, because of the town war, has impacted on the driveway. And so the homeowners want us to, now we can't fix the driveway, but we are obligated to take care of the apron the entrance. So there's that type of Okay. All right. I guess we can, I don't know, you know, I think what we'll probably do is just discuss them and then, you know, we do, we do have to vote correct to like approve our board to approve them. Um, I guess I'm not expecting an answer right tonight. But so are, are not, we're not approving yeah. them. I'm sorry. We're recommending yeah. them. Yeah. 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 And then they'll go to the town meeting to yes. be approved ultimately. And a lot of the, I, you know, I guess we didn't start with how much money we actually have available, but I know it's not much. Um, you know, because this would be, yeah, we have $5,000, $6,000 right now on our capital stabilization. Um, so not much for anything. Free cash, zero, because we don't get any free cash at Springtown meeting. Mr. Chairman, uh, if you look at the other problem. items that we are requesting. We'd be borrowing, yeah. yeah. If you look at the other items we are requesting, yeah, they are also very critical for the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And we bring in these items in the fourth time meeting will not be useful to us. For example, the the uh, hot box. Yeah, uh, hot box gives us the ability to fix the road 24, 7, 12 months in a year. Winter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right mm -hmm. now we are not, we don't have the ability, and also we are the when even the co patch that we bring at the end of the day is wasteful, and so. We're, yeah. we're wasting the public dollars. Mm -hmm. um, if we have the opportunity to get a hot box, we can fix the road 12 months a day. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever we, at the end of the day, whatever we have, we did not use will not be wasted because it will still be in the hot box overnight. So we can pick, pick it up where we stop the next day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we also have um, the uh, mini excavator. And uh, the skid. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the kid steer. Yeah, yeah, kid steer. Yeah. Skid steer. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a skid which we need for <gasps> road repair, mm -hmm. for drainage, and water department also use it this for water and sewer. For example, when we had the water main failure recently, we depending on the location, backhoe will not be able to do the the function. Now the skid can do that. We also can use it on the sidewalk, clearly because it comes with different accessories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this a bobcat? Bobcat, yes. Oh. And is that replacing one or is it a new one? Uh, it's a new one. Okay. We have a barco, but barco is the, is the, is the big. Much bigger, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and, uh, and we need this machine to, uh, it's easier to also move from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. to, so we sort of so that's what I want, why we and in the, in the summer and in the fall and the spring it's time we do a lot of uh, out, outdoor work including some of the um, the earlier concern about drain swales and mm -hmm. and um, ditches mm -hmm. yeah um, we are if we use the backhoe conservation will not give us permit by their nature they have to, we have to be very careful with. Uh, the ditches, mm -hmm. in part because of uh, wetlands and regulations. So the the skid is small enough to give us the ability to maneuver and do what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. In okay. the mini excavator, how is that different than the scoop on the back? Yes, it is. 
y las ciudades Moscú y en y the weight is lighter than Baku and if we use the Baku in most areas especially with uh, the, the drainage issues we have time uh, we can be shut down by conservation okay yeah do we have another skid steer? No, we this would we just this would be the, yes. I thought we got one in the, in the last few years. I we we just we skid we unit for the fire department. It. Yeah. Okay. And skid I thought we used to plow the sidewalks that. with a skid yeah. steer. That's what I thought we used, but I had yeah. one. But <coughs> maybe maybe I don't you know I don't know. No, we we have we have the a a mini, but which is which we use for this um, sidewalk. Yeah, the also mini loader. We also use it for the um, top grinder and the um, um, that we just put where we used to grind the, the um, stumps. Oh, yeah. 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 So it basically is suitable for that program as opposed to. Mm -hmm. Now, all, all this, Linda, we, we, we would be borrowing outside the levy, correct? On these items? It would uh, it would depend. Certainly, the larger items, we don't have a lot. Um, yeah, I'd rather do it outside the levy. Mm -hmm. um, oh, did you did I hear you say earlier that something about waiting till fall on some of these, or you said okay, no, what, so the ones we, that, that you would all need till next winter? The the these items would not be able to wait till fall. If we get these items in the fall. The oh, we would be able to wait till fall. Yeah, oh, okay, the purpose will be defeated in terms of the usage. They take yeah, us okay. to the winter months. Uh, but in the fall, we will be coming uh, before the board, the committee for things that we know uh, will not be impacting us in the, in the summer. Mm -hmm. For example, the also we have the septic tank truck. Before my before I arrived here, the town gave us hundred thousand for this truck. Mm -hmm. But we are requesting forty thousand more because um, to get a truck on the road is about one thirty five, one forty thousand. Mm -hmm. So the thinking before my arrival was that with a hundred thousand, the town will get a used truck. But uh, I am with the opinion that if the town is able to give us hundred thousand, we uh, it, I, it would be a good idea to get a new truck. Mm -hmm. It will last for another ten years. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're asking for extra forty thousand. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that was funded out of sewer impact. Yes. That wasn't a borrowing item, the hundred thousand. Yes. We have to use that money. So sewer impact right now, what we're reflecting in this balance, that hundred hasn't been taken out yet, or it has it been. Has. It has been. It okay. has been. So that that balance is without the hundred. Okay. Right. But it hasn't been spent. But it's not. No. It's yeah. not, so not in reflective in the sewer yes. impact yeah. balance. <coughs> and I was wondering if you or David Eisenthal had a chance just to get a tax rate impact of all. No, no, no. This, this is the no. This is really our my first, first, first brush. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We also have um, we also have the uh, clean new wealth number two, which again um, we need that schedule that has been scheduled mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so the the other, the other the forty thousand is came about the low bid we had. <coughs> we also yeah. have, a and that one I believe has been on there. Yes. Which one? The well, the cleaning well yes. number two. Yeah, it's been there for a while. Yes. And that would just come out of water reserves, yes. correct? Right. Yeah. Yes. On the clean water ditch issue, um, yeah. Is that contracted out? We will do some in-house, and we will also use contractor to do some. So, I, is the hundred thousand part of it all contract, or what? What is what is in the hundred thousand? The then? contract materials and uh, uh, personnel over time, in-house. We will uh, we'll, most of the money we're going to contract it. Okay. Well, yeah, because we're going to do engineering engineering services and also. We we're going to buy materials and contractors to help us, it's, and uh, especially for example, um, mail value, we'll not be able to do that. We are not equipped to do that. We will get it contracted. So most of this is outside. Yes. Right. Okay. And then there's a line on here for computers, but. Uh, 
Yes, okay. the, that, that is, uh, I think the town administrator may be able to speak into that. The, I know that the IT personnel, the contractor that manages, uh, they, they, they are asking us that they will need to change our software. We are right now have seven, and they are saying that seven, they will not be able to defend that as in the near future. So, they can, so that's where, but, we, but I don't know how much the dollar amount Hmm. We, we so that's why we have that uh, there the, because all we have right now is uh, mostly seven and they so they informed us that um, oh, yeah. Windows 7 oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah oh okay so that the support is going away yeah, well, yes yeah. that's what it that's why that. yes yeah. okay and how many computers are there so we have uh, about eight but they're all on seven. Yes. Wow. Um, some were some fairly new. So no, they're not all on seven. My is not on seven. Uh, we have about two. Sharon is not on seven. Those are the two retired. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, so there's about two computers. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then as far as the prices on the skid steer and the mini excavator, I mean, they seem high to me, but I, I don't shop equipment all the time, so I don't no, really know. But see, but so, you know, know, I think like this small piece of equipment, it's no, gotta be like $10,000. Well, what is the why they, like that, they're not high in terms of price. And that's why yeah. people go for them. They come with various accessories. Okay. That you, 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 you use them for multiple things. Mm -hmm. And so, and then, yeah, also very easy to maintain. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. And you're buying these off the state? Oh yes. Oh, yeah, yes, oh yes, oh yes, we have to do that. You're not going out for them No, okay. if we want to go out for B, it, it take a long time, yeah. so we use the state bid. Yes. Okay, yes. that's like a, yeah. And that's probably where the prices come from. Come, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Items being paid for water and sewer aren't a problem, they're covered? Because yeah, the so impact. yeah, the sewer impact fee can easily cover the subdivision truck and the uh, water reserves can handle cleaning well number two. So for borrowing, we're talking about the other four items. And truth be told, if it's, if it's um, Sharon's windows and your windows, then water and sewer can cover that too. No, 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 mine is, uh, is fine. Mine is uh, 10. Oh, sure, is 10. Sure. Yeah, but the rest in the in the department, yeah. 7. That's it. Yeah. All right, so they have the only two. So now it's 6. Two computers. Two are good. The others need Oh, two are good yeah, and yeah, six yeah. need replaced. Okay, <laughs> I got to mix up. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Six. Yeah. So we're talking probably, you know, Five to six thousand dollars for those computers. I don't know. Yeah, I would think software and that kind of thing. That's the most. Yeah, yeah. Because he's a time. Five hundred. Yeah, yeah. I think the less. Okay. Is the um, has the dump truck been ordered? The one that we've already. Yes. Okay. Yes, we're expecting that uh, within the next three months. Okay. All right. Let me see what else. Water and sewer we've been. I was going to ask about the septic vehicle. That explains why you haven't spent the first hundred then. Yes. Okay. okay. We had, oh, this is well reconditioning in Callahan in number two is yes. what that is? Yes. So there was water tank access and cleaning for 25000 that we approved in the fall. Is that different than the well cleaning that we're talking about now? Yes. yes. Okay. So is that project is still going to happen? Yeah, the, the one you, you talk about in the tank, yes. The water tank? Water tank, yes. Okay. And the Callahan, Callahan well is in there for 25000 yes. still. Mm -hmm. so, so this is uh, the second well? Yes. Okay. Is the first one going to be done this summer? Is that a summer project? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, 
Um, well, do we have to vote on each individual line? How does that work? Yeah, so yeah. sometime at some point you take a vote, either you do it in the aggregate or you go through line by line, whatever the pleasure of the board is. Mm -hmm. uh, but you usually do that after you've talked to everybody and you have okay. a complete picture. Okay, yeah. That sounds good. We can just wait on that. Okay. Done? Yeah. Anything okay. else you, you want to add or? No, I just yeah. want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to yeah. come before the board. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'll see you in the morning. Yes. I mean, we are, we're going to talk with the municipal building committee too about their request for building maintenance. And Chris, I don't know if you want to stay for any of that. Okay. Oh, yeah, you the can. building maintenance, oh, okay. municipal building committee. I don't know. Something you want to hear? And Tim, I don't know if you. Something that we're going to be discussing tonight, but it's something that we're going to, it's going to be based on your recommendations. It has to do with the trailers. And that's what I'm trying to say. You want to give us a nice house? And that's good. Raise it up in the trees. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sit down with you guys. <laughs> so what I'm going to hand out idea. is what I what I put together um, and sent okay. off uh, with regard to what we put yeah. together as an article in the municipal building, and we we broke it into three parts. Uh, one basically uh, the building's improvements that um, uh, still are left to be done to some extent. And again, we've been talking about some type of a maintenance budget. What the Municipal Building Committee would like to achieve at some point is come up, establish some type of dollar amount. Right now, we're talking $125,000 per year. What, we're, what our thought process is, the Municipal Building Committee would put together a ba based on an evaluation of each building per year a list of projects that we feel that need to be done for that year and we can go out for as long as we need but we know that we're never going to have enough money to do everything so what we want to try to do is come up with some type of a dollar amount right now again we have put down $125,000 <coughs> And we'll go through that as much as we can. And if it's for one year, we don't, um, we can always turn something back. But I think that's pretty slim based on some of our buildings. Mm -hmm. So what we like right now is, we're try again, number one is trying to finish up some of the things that are still left undone. Maintenance, the $125,000 is items that we haven't looked at and items that are larger that need full replacement. The third item is the $50,000 for the on-call professional consultant. And we've, we've had that for a number of years. It's worked out extremely well. The budget uh, is down to only a couple few thousand at that, right, David? About five thousand. And some of that's going to be spent right now. But what we're thinking, we need to build that up because one of the thoughts of the select board is to use the on-call cons on consultant to oversee the three new projects that are coming along to make sure that everything flows well even though we have all the professionals there but with three projects going especially two on the same parcel if there is an issue we have somebody there that's a professional to make those calls immediately and and go through a protocol with a select board member to get those decisions made immediately that might be needed so Tim, is this, are you saying this is a temporary position? no we've it's had that we well we've had we brought that person on uh, at the inception of the building maintenance um, committee uh, we've used him to especially write specifications for some of our projects. We've had him review some of our buildings 
and write up uh, reports, okay? One of the last ones we've done, which will be submitted at some point in the near future to the select board is another review of the Russell School. We needed to get um, updated pricing on how, what we felt would be needed if, so we can make a legitimate decision on what to do with that building and bring it forward to the residents. So he's been doing quite a bit. The good thing is that that, that initial $50,000 is actually, uh, it's been spent over three or four years lately. Five. I was a 2014. How was this yes. person paid? He's, he's paid, he's, he's, he's on retainer. So whatever we decide and the select board decide that we need his use, Expertise, yeah. then uh, we use him. Yeah. He, he comes does his job up, and he bills you. He gives us an estimate of what he believes it's going to be and gives us an invoice and we... Well, I'm a little confused because the <coughs> funding source is borrowing for I consulting don't. fees. It was. It came out of capital stabilization before, um, when we had more money in capital stabilization. Yeah, usually so what we do is part of the three projects is I get divvied well, out into them. It's well, it sounds like it should. What we usually do is uh, we do the operational budget at the annual town meeting. We do the capital plan in the fall town meeting. We usually do that in that sequence because we have free cash certification in August, September. So we have a lot more money on the table at that point. Fall. Right now we don't have the funds to support this project except by borrowing. I'm just wondering, is that a permissible use to borrow for consulting fees? Could be mistaken. For design, I don't, I don't yeah, think I've ever do heard of it. Design. If it's part of the larger projects, yeah. yes. Not as a standalone. I don't think you could have a standalone article to pay for consultants' fees on an ongoing basis. And that's not what you're saying, though. The future funding would not come from borrowing. If, if like Tim said, this is a permanent position. Yeah, this isn't this or isn't ongoing. Position. This isn't consulting for. Let's say we wanted to look at switching out our our uh, streetlights for LED. That's not that kind of consulting. This is an architect, and for architectural services, you can borrow. We did borrow for the, remember we had a, the, another $50,000 for the initial OPM before we had the yeah. different building committees. We only we spent up to 25 of that. So we did have, uh, that was within the levy, and we did, uh, we borrowed 25 of that and spent it. Uh, and then each of those projects spun in, off into their own, and we haven't spent those for a while. So there is 25000 left in, in that article, but that's, that's, that's different than what Tim yeah. was talking about. Yeah, for these that's purposes. for OPM This is more, the 50, more like the 50000 that we took out of capital in fourteen. Oh, sorry. I'm not here. Um, I'm wondering, too, could we look for a lower amount? Because I kind of see this as we don't know we don't know what we're going to need exactly right now with the projects when they start under construction and all that. This is a little bit of a placeholder in case we do need some services because right now we haven't said that we need anyone. We have, we haven't. We have no guarantee it will be spent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It would be spent. You guys figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there Figured. was. Uh, we were told to make see what there there yeah. was left for him, mm -hmm. which turned out not to be a lot, mm -hmm. uh, because we did request him to do the uh, initial the study for Russell School. So that that actually was a, a, a bit of money, mm -hmm. and uh, now we're if we want to use them. That's that's what we borrowed the fir what we got the first time for his services. Mm -hmm. Again, it will we'll went through the number of years. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe we if you can whatever works for one yeah. year, fine. Yeah, yeah. But um, I 
I just because of the concern from the select board, yeah, yeah. especially, no. uh, it would be nice to hold keep them here. Mm -hmm. uh, but le le if I could, I'd like to yeah. go back to uh, uh, the other two, especially with uh, Chris here. Yeah. Uh, we're kind of a little out of um, sequence on what w uh, the municipal building w committee wanted to do. Mm -hmm. uh, with Chris coming on board, we wanted to give him uh, some time to catch up. But uh, the Municipal Building Committee is very concerned about the condition of those trailers. They're getting to the point that uh, we're very worried that there's going to be serious issues down there. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they've been temporary, and unfortunately that temporary is almost permanent yeah. now. But they need something. What we're we're going to discuss it tonight at our meeting, mm -hmm. but our thoughts right now is that um, it's going to be a number of years before we could actually look at what the best thing to do for DPW, and it's going to be some type of an addition. In the meantime, we felt that because of the condition of those things, we better re at least replace one. Mm -hmm. And it gets something there that uh, it, it's good for the employee's health more than anything else. Uh, and possibly with the other one, do some, some repair work on it. Uh, they're, they're in very poor shape and they're getting to the point that it's going to be critical. Yeah. So that's why they're in both of those line items. Yeah, I think this is a good chance for but the boards and the town to kind of say what are we doing and we've got to do something there because yeah. I mean it's a matter of time and unfortunately we haven't had the time to bring Chris in and yeah. I think that uh, at our next meeting that is going to be a priority mm -hmm. and talk to Chris and you know this is the first time that I'm sure Chris is really here in a file yeah. that we want to do something for them yeah down yeah there. Um, but that's that's in both items. One mm -hmm. to uh, replace one because one is in very, very poor shape. The other one, I think that we can probably do some work on it and hold, hold it. We don't know, but mm -hmm. we have to evaluate that. So the other items that we have here, uh, Minis the, the public safety complex, HVAC project has been ongoing for quite some time. We did quite an extensive work on the system on the first floor. What transpired with all the other renovations that has happened is the with the air conditioning on the second floor, the, there's two different units separate. It has been sweating, the duct system has been sweating considerably. We had uh, Larry <laughs> Tuttle in with the consultants to, to figure out what is actually happening. They have figured out what the problem is. A lot of it has to do with venting in the attic, and it was done improperly from day one. Uh, there's going to be some modifications to those ducts to uh, get the air moving better up in that attic. And but the problem that we're faced is we we we're we are ongoing with this project only because the unit that's up there is right over the electrical room. And what has to happen right now, and all summer long, the there was always one person that was on duty to um, use a bucket to, and a vacuum cleaner to, to vacuum out the condensate before it overflowed, trip the um, unit off, and then, which happened once, and created a massive um, leak into the electrical <coughs> room, mm -hmm. which, unfortunately, if that ever really went, that the entire 911 system, everything would go out. Yeah. So it's been very critical to keep that thing going. We need to do this work. Right now, all we're saying is we're doing it, and it is what it is. But this one of the things that we've also done was we put off some of the work that we've talked about initially with the public safety building and that has to do with the sally port mm -hmm. above that ceiling turns out 
uh, is a tremendous amount of cold air coming in from the garage door and up into the attic. We were able to contain some of that cold air from going through the entire floor system in the uh, in most of the building, but it's still within that sally port. The sally port is very cold and it gets up into the fire areas. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you go up in, in a cold day, that, that uh, office can't get above 60 degrees most of the time. Uh, but we're wasting a tremendous amount of heat and energy through that. We, we have put that off. And one of the reasons we put it off was because of the new tower and all that stuff with Verizon. And we just they haven't caught up with trying to get everything else done. Mm -hmm. But we'd still like to get that done, try to save the sound, town some money mm -hmm. on the energy of that. And that's the, that I went... Linda might be asking. Yeah, I thought we funded something I, with the uh, I, system. A year and a half ago. Yeah, so I remember last speaking about year. the town meeting. So uh, that's a uh, special town meeting 2017. We funded How much is left 19, in that? 19,500. Okay. Nothing's been spent. All right. So you've got that. And I thought, yeah, 2018, we, I thought we did something for and that. In 2018, too. we did the, uh, last fall, we funded the HVAC uh, attic venting and dampers for 27,000. Yeah, that was yeah that was um, part uh, of it. Wasn't it has it. none of that's been spent either. That hasn't been spent Nothing. either. Nothing. What are those line items? Um, Tim, I'll make a couple of those. Okay, great. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah, and if I forget, just right. just ask me. I'll just run for the coffee. All right. Great. Because yeah, that does seem like it needs to get addressed. I know that from the past descriptions and everything, it seemed like we needed to do something there. So it's just a matter of. I guess, do we have the money available to do it already? You know, that would be great. Well, yeah, we yeah. just, yeah. yeah. It's been a long, slow process trying to get everything put yeah. together. Yeah. Things take time. And it's an evolving yeah. issue, yeah. So yeah. when we vote these things, just so we're clear, I'm clear on the process here, Who who's in charge of them? When you say well, this is a project and we go and we fund it out of something, is, is it? Supposed in to be charge. The building committee, or is now it's, it's the supposed to be the fire chief the, is in charge of the sally port and the, uh, the security door, and the police chief is in charge of the HVAC and the um, evidence locker. But when does the building committee come in then? You're you're identifying the projects. We're and identifying you're the I projects. Handing it over to problems the problems and working out some of the estimates, and Chris now wants. That's what, what I think. Why he wants to look at um, the building maintenance person. Yeah, that's kind of why well, I wanted I him here is because I was thinking like what kind of connection do we make need to make between municipal building and DPW so we can kind of work on these projects. I know, you know, the last select board meeting we were going to be talking about some of that reorganization, right. but we didn't get to that. So yeah, it actually, would, it would NBC help, it, you know, basically NBC is here to uh, bring the issues yeah, forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm go through it, Chris then runs the, the maintenance department, and he, you know, we'll, we're there throughout the project as needed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the way the perception is right now, that, mm -hmm. uh, you know. So would even over at the public safety complex, it would be something that is yeah, run out of. We, yeah, to have like everything maintenance-wise you know? under that one new department. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, these projects are a little more than maintenance, but I think that it's... Yeah, like, but it still, but still needs still, oversight. It's the same, yeah. Um, yeah, and it's going to be hiring a contractor and all that, you know. It we'll probably not do that work in-house. It makes sense that the town have yeah. one set of yeah. people who gets kind of bids and then runs through yeah. the, all that process rather than whoever's in that building taking care of their own building. I mean, you have to work, obviously. We have to work with the chiefs and the, yeah, the library yeah, people. But it's, it's been a slow process changing things over and trying to consolidate yeah. everything that yeah. we've had into one group. And we've done quite a bit with a lot of the um, different projects within a building and the contracts and everything. And now we have Chris, and he mm -hmm. certainly seems to be more in favor of bringing that onto one roof better. Yeah, well, yeah. So well, yeah. while we're talking about those projects, there's one more at public safety, an insulation project, 9,500. Yeah. None of that's been spent. That goes back to 2014. See, I'm, I'm not doing that to be naggy, but just to say that's 
taking up $9,500 of capital stabilization. If it's needed more elsewhere, then we should be rolling it in and using it elsewhere. Maybe we have more capital stabilization funds available than we think if some of these other projects are a higher priority. Because we, so we should find out why some of these are not being done. Um, whether we got to get a better handle right. on how, okay. uh, where the money is and how it's being spent. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Okay. And that's Especially capital. I mean, if we buy because that's money we can use. How hard would it be to put it together a summary of those just so? Oh, that's one, two, either three municipal on this building. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Here. absolutely. Yeah. Are, yeah. are there more building maintenance related projects to, than just those on that list? I'm just wondering if we can. Um, I guess that's all. Is that all public safety? I don't know if that's yeah. one page or two pages. Or that's uh, 35. Oh, these are all of the uh, capital articles. Okay. Um, and then it's by, by building. There's 3,500 okay. left in a public safety carpet and painting. Is that what we use for something else? Yeah, they want to hang on to that. What we do is we do a sweep article of every town meeting. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, whatever is on productive balance, we return to the original pot. So if it's free cash, it goes free cash. It goes stabilization, goes back to stabilization. I'm just oh, thinking it would be great to give that to municipal buildings so when they're meeting they can look at it and say, hey, we've got this money here we didn't okay. even realize. Well, you know, you know what? The, the, the way this is grouped, it's it's by um, by area, but I think that it sounds like it would be a good way to group it is just do everything by uh, by the capital, by the funding source so that we can shift it around mm -hmm. appropriately. If these are already out of capital stabilization, let's look at them a little more closely so see if we can reallocate. Um, or uh, either reallocate the funds or freshen up those those projects. We know that the priority right now is the, the three buildings that we're putting together. Right. So oh, yeah. all of our yeah. uh, extra effort that we have goes there first, and then we have to go to if we have time, we can go back to public safety at least until these um, the projects are in a stable order. Right, and to, mm -hmm. with the move and everything else, we kind of held off on a lot. Of oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Make yeah. sure we had the money, but oh, we get that. I mean, yeah, yeah. We, oh, yeah. <laughs> some of us are not. We don't get to see these as closely as we should. Sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, well, I'm glad to hear the money's there. Yeah. Okay. I was on. The, yeah, we'll work. Great. I'll bring that tonight. So we have. Oh, uh, yeah. They have a meeting when, after. They have a meeting after. Before I go, I'll make a copy for you, and I'll hi several. I'll just highlight them. I won't make a new list. Then I'll just copy yeah, these out I, and highlight. I thought too that restored DPW garage okay. gable ends was on there too um, as one. Get the money right. We will. Yeah, we come out for that. <laughs> yeah. It's already. We already have under it. highway maybe. Yeah. No, no, highway no. sewer water. Tim, do you have a breakdown of these of A, B, and C? Where's the tables? I know you gave us the figure. DPW the garage. Oh, yeah. I oh, no, no, no. That was uh, DPW. Of, of the prices here? Yeah. Like how much is for the trailer? How much for the garage? Yeah, trailer? we have some of them. We can put that together. Um, yeah. We have I mean, five some of the DPW some of them garage older repairs. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I can put that together. Uh, yeah, so Tim, one, one C, we have money for that. One D, we have money for that. Um, two B, we have money for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that was 19 something. 19 K. All right, so it's one C and, and D, or one C, one D, D and, and two, two B. B. Great. All right, I'll tell, yeah. I'll tell the committee tonight. And, and then we can um, like the town hall basement windows replacement. Is that something uh, we feel that needs to get done this summer before next winter? Or if we replace those, it's just going to save us a little bit of energy. Mm -hmm. I mean, a, a lot of a lot of waste and heat goes out of the basement, and those those windows are just the old single glass, pane wooden. Yeah. And you know, David tried to get them many years ago. And it should have been done many years ago. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think that you're going to see a bit. Of, all this stuff adds up over time. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I would certainly do it mm -hmm. if we have the money. Let's try to do it. Do you guys want to look at this list and then, kind of see where we're at as far as the request goes? 
what I can do is I'll bring it to tonight's meeting with Linda, at, with the information from Linda. At yeah. Work. We'll, we'll re review the numbers okay. and bring it back to you guys. And yeah. if your committee wants to have updates on particular ones, I'd be happy to prepare a report on, on a regular basis and make sure you have updated balances on whichever, whichever articles. I don't know which ones you control or you're interested uh, I, in, but you just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I the committee. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think I think so. I it's did call only because the chair <laughs> happened at Naval to come. Yeah, but uh, yeah, like yeah, the, we the need better. We need better oversight. We haven't done that. Yeah, yeah, it's just tricky because you guys are volunteers, you know, and that follow through, getting it to the project, it seems like a tricky flow, you know, getting it from that point to the next point. We can get worked out. Yeah, 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 but I think. You know, the 50000 for the on-call professional, that seems like a decision really that the select board has to make Yes. that call. Do we want this person on call and that money available in the event of? And whatever you vote for, yeah. if if it's not needed, we're not spending it. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's always there mm -hmm. for when we do need him. And he's been vital on a lot of things. Mm -hmm because he can do the specs, bring in the, in the professionals when we do need them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Anything else? What's, what are the details on the, I'm just curious about the garage, the doors, the barn? Oh, the overhead doors for the, the barn? Yeah, what is that? Well, there, that came out of few, a few people thinking that it would be wise since we have the barn up there to utilize it. But I don't know what your, <coughs> uh, um, you've rented it out, right? For a it's year. rented for a year, yeah. Okay, then we can probably put that off. At some point, in order for us to utilize that barn, it might be wise to you uh, put overhead doors on the side, on the north side, and then, then you can back equipment in. Oh, on the long side? On the long side. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That makes it a lot easier to actually mm -hmm. use the barn, yeah. That was the thought. Or else so. you can be like me with mine that I have. It's like i got to take everything out. It's all over the yeah. place. <laughs> <laughs> to get that yeah, one to thing. You have to get the one thing in the middle and then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you have it rented out for another year. Yeah. We I'm sure he'd love to have some nice doors on the side there to have better access to. When you say year, are you talking about the, the season or really a? Do you know month? Jennifer? How long it was? It, it was starts. In, it's, I think it starts in June. I think it's a fiscal. It, okay, yeah. it was a full year. Mm -hmm. It's a full year. Yeah, we should. Uh, do we? Did we ever put it together the contract for that? It's on my list. It's on my list. We're still okay. functioning in the previous. We're still. He's still under yeah. agreement right now, and then we'll. He's just waiting for the renewal to come through, but he, we, he's still under contract. July through June? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. And we, we voted on renting it to him, so. Yeah, you did. How much we get? All I don't the know money in the world. You don't even know what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really letting you down. It's about $800. That's it? It's not, it's not a lot. We continued with the agreement that, that was in place before. Who's in charge of the town hall project on the four pillars? Of the, that's coming out of CPA. Does that go through your committee also? That's $35,000. We're waiting for the specs on that one, right? Two. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. I'll, I'm going to highlight that one too, just so you know that's an ongoing project. On your fiscal 2020 year list here, you have um, the Goodwin ceiling and wire improvements under municipal building. That was a request made last year, and I think that was before the CPA committee asked us to return those funds to them. Okay. Yeah, we were under the impression that we would wait a year, so we can't do anything until the library's out of there anyway. Yeah, so we don't have a good schedule for the library, so we need to find out what that is, and then we need to start renovating that for that building yeah. for whoever needs to move in there. But that can that that wouldn't be for this year. No. Okay. 
All right. This we were is the last piece Keeps on changing. Okay. Yeah. So we have about 35 minutes before the next yeah. group comes in. Yeah, no, that, that sounds good, Tim. 650, just to let you know. Okay. 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 Yeah, thank you, Tim. No, I'm good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And the school department is off the. They've deferred those two. And do we know if they need money to do any design work or anything along those lines? No, they're not asking for money. Okay. No, I'm just going to give this to you. Oh, great. Okay. So just there's a few. So go through the whole thing. Okay. And then. Is Jennifer doing the capital asset sketch? Is that what you're? No. Or no, you're doing something else. Yeah, I'll do the capital okay. assets. Okay. No, I heard. But wait, I was going to okay. get something for you too. Oh, okay. All right. Let's do that. All right. So this is a project that came about of various conversations that we've had with our accountant, particularly having to do with the capital fixed assets for the audit review, as well as insurance purposes. So a number of people have been talking about the need to have some sort of comprehensive capital asset uh, schedule and management uh, um, program. Uh, we're pretty good about knowing what we have that are big things, buildings, infrastructure, equipment. But then when you get down to the level of computers, air packs, <coughs> other kinds of equipment, furnishings and things like that, we don't have a very good handle on all of this. And yeah, all of that stuff keeps on showing up in our capital plan, it keeps on showing up in our insurance uh, review, it keeps on showing up in our uh, audit. And so if we can put, if we can uh, do a capital asset schedule, that will start addressing that, it will tighten this thing up, uh, make some of these processes that give us fits uh, move a lot more smoothly. Uh, give us a much better sense of what we own and that needs to be paid attention to by the equipment that has a use like a replacement value. Um, so that's what that project is all about. Funding right now is through ways appropriate. We could spend it on use capital stabilization for that. But David, this would obviously be an ongoing type of endeavor, right? It's not a one shot deal. Right, right. But the initial work would take about three months to put together. Mm -hmm. That's what this is for. And then they, they put in a format that's easy for us to update, or do we need that those people to re-enter new purchases, or is it something as we purchase well, things? I think, I think that's a good question. I didn't explore that particular thing, but the utility of it has to, has to be there, or mm -hmm. else it's no good. Yeah. Um, you know, if we can't manage this ourselves, if the department heads can't tell us how many AEDs that uh, we have in their, in their building, the fire extinguishers, or bulletproof vests, <coughs> or, or um, uh, air packs. Replacement, like, everything like yeah, that. Yeah, all this stuff that keeps on showing up in capital purchases. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we need something that will address that finer grain detail. So that's the request. Mm -hmm. How, you know, how far do you drill this down before you consider well, our, our capital? Our capital, our capital bylaw says twenty-five thousand dollars value or use life for five years. So when you're talking about computers, bulletproof vests, uh, air packs, that's that's the kind of equipment we're talking about here. That would probably be the bottom of that whole list of, of assets from big stuff, infrastructure, buildings, to equipment, mm -hmm. down to smaller devices. Okay. Yeah. And then the last thing on here, I mean, do we have any more questions on that particular item? Do you guys have anything? No. No. Sounds good. And how about uh, the voting booths? Are we talking about those at all, or we're just yeah, the voting booths. Okay, I mean, so we, we can talk about that. Yeah. 
last time we we did the voting machines, now we have the booths themselves, which are in bad repair, required legally mandated, and so seven thousand dollars from the from the, the town clerk in order to keep our voting booths up and running, so we can use. The we don't have a choice. Machines. And these are the things where you walk yeah. over to, and you know you've mm -hmm. got the marker, and you yeah. vote okay. in. Yeah. Yeah. Not the machine. Okay. Scans. So we do, I know that the select board talked about after that, or finance committee too, after that, putting it in the budget for buying one a year, but something mm -hmm. like to how mm -hmm. we've done with others, so that it wouldn't yeah. become a every uh, every three years be it become a capital yeah. article. I mean, a, a, a allow her ongoing yeah. ongoing, re yeah. Yeah, ongoing yeah. replacements okay. yeah. rather than um, have seven thousand dollars all go at once. Yeah. 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 Well, how much is this going to buy? Is it seven thousand? Buy them all, probably. That would be everything. Correct. I thought she said it was seven thousand was for one. I'll cut it out. No, no, no. 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 I hope not. No. One, one set. One set for it. Okay. <laughs> one set. Uh -oh. Which is everything. I'm we watching. Have. You? How many individual units? I'll make one. A <laughs> uh, good question, Paul. I'll have to get that answer and email it to you. I don't know mm. off the top of my head. <coughs> I'll email you. Please, yeah. you, don't even, you don't even have my email. <laughs> Do you have it? <laughs> I think that's a uh, <coughs> age joke here. <laughs> right. No, no, let's not go down there. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. I can handle it. Okay. And Jennifer, you had furniture. Oh, oh, the last list. Yes, that was what it was. Furniture for who? For several departments in town hall. Um, it's it's not a lot of money. I just wanted to be here, so if you have any questions, I could explain that my desk is held together with tape. <laughs> that the assistant collector has scars on her legs from where her desk does not shut, and she cuts herself on it pretty oh. frequently. And just to say, you know, I've, I've priced these really reasonably, and will obviously try to find them cheaper if I can. But um, that that's what it is. And also, I, I put two different choices in here because this is something we've looked at over and over again about putting in a new select board. Uh, or, uh, not e at this point, it's not even a select board. It's a, this is the meeting right. room. Mm -hmm. And changing how this room is set up so it functions better for all of the boards that meet here. And so we've looked at two different options of um, flipping the room and putting a crescent-shaped table over here. And we could do a very nice wood one for 6500 But it looks like David maybe removed that from my request. Um, is it five thousand? Okay, and then it's, it's on this. This it's on, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, and then if that feels um, uncomfortable or, or not possible, I um, the laminate meeting table with electricity, that is a sort of a cheaper version um, that we could look at if if that was a better fit for us. Um, it's a narrower table, narrower, narrower table, and it would just, <coughs> it would, it would be very much just the like laptop. This. Yeah. Well, actually, um, it'd be about narrower. About, yeah. yeah. Much narrower. And yeah. so that yeah, leaves for more room because this setup allows everybody to see each other, but it does not really allow for a great um, attendance, which is not a problem mm -hmm. tonight. But I have a feeling that Wednesday night might be packed. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so we're running out of space. So if we could flip the room back to how it was with the chairs, I think it would allow for more for more room and a greater use of this room. So those, those were what I was wanting to request. Okay. Yeah, I would, well. So what's the total? Yeah, what's the total? Uh, yeah. If, you do the big, if you do the big desk or the big wooden table, we're talking about $10,458. <laughs> and if you're doing the laminate, um, we're talking about four thousand eight hundred fifty-eight. And what if you? What's the executive desk with Hutch? That is for the town administrator's office, right? Okay. Well, the town administrator, and this is me requesting this, not David. <laughs> 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 this is Jennifer requesting it. The town administrator's office has uh, two desks in it, both from about nineteen sixty-four, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, it, it's. It's not really functioning as, as y'all have all seen, and I'm so sorry, David. As y'all have all seen his office, it's not really working for him. And I think providing him with a better workspace uh, would be beneficial. So the executive desk sounds very fancy, but it's it's really a, a U-shaped desk that will allow him to meet with people on one end, but still have his work area. 
on the other and it's just it's just a little bit bigger and since we do have the hr manager in the budget do we have furniture She's for the number two. I keep saying that. Ma'am. The HR director, <laughs> yeah. whoever they may be, yeah. I put in um, an L-shaped laminate with a hutch for them. Okay. So I did build that in there as well. Okay. Um, just because going on the possible places where they would be, where their offices would be, we're not. They're not going to be able to have something very big. So um, that I sort of based with their their request off of an office of my size mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. because I know that right now they're sort of going to be a singular person so I'm imagining they'll be in a singular office environment mm -hmm. with, I, and these are just sort of assumptions I was making um, they can also you know not have a hutch and we'll say $50 mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. that's sort of what I was looking at okay I'm trying to base it off that but I did include them in this request well what I was thinking too is and I guess this is up for discussion but what if we took the would select board meeting table as like a separate line item request mm -hmm. and then have the office furniture as one request that table as a separate one i don't know what you guys think to that just or I do think you think it's better to combine it all in one yes you do okay okay i i, I would yeah yeah because there will be there will be changes and there's people still moving in and out of offices and you know still asking well, that's what i wanted to make sure we have the furniture that we need to putting it all the table in. I, there's going to be things optional. So, I mean, to be clear, we're going to put a folding table in this room until we have another table. That's what I thought the so, 10 foot long table was for, was for over there. Well, but, actually, yeah. I would like to take this table, put it over there, okay. give this one elsewhere, and have that table at the front. Mm -hmm. Just just for a better use of space. I mean, if it can't, if it can't happen, it can't happen. And we'll, we're going to continue to try to make this work as much as we can. Um, but that's where we are I would like to keep them together but if y'all feel that it's better okay, to have no, them separate I, then I was wondering yeah that's fine I'm really I, I trying didn't know to what the better way to do it shuffle as much as I can you don't around. want to make your capital plan too busy with okay. you know, furniture right. Mm -hmm. right and you want to it, and it goes on for a while um, but it's the thing with articles it doesn't expire at the end of the year I know I, I don't like to say things you know, sometimes we cut it I know with the computers count up all the computers and how much it is and, and there it is and it turns out then you have another person in and you need a new computer it's nice to have mm -hmm. if you're if the town's going to make a decision that we need computers that there'd be enough of a cushion in there to uh for some eventualities over the next year or so right. with, with people shifting so um it, you know one good uh article for mm -hmm. town hall furnishings is an unreasonable sure keep the discussion all focused on one mm -hmm. one aggregate amount mm -hmm. Just, yeah and, and I mean really we're having so many more boards in this room it's personally I feel like it's worthwhile to invest in a nice table for this room just so that it makes discussion easier <laughs> makes the heavily media easier mm -hmm. all those things you know because yeah this is going to be our primary meeting space for at least the next two years if not longer so the large table is a very nice crescent shape <coughs> that will allow everybody to see each other instead of you having to yeah crook your neck down um, yeah, right. I, I think yeah. i think it would be a good investment for the town yeah and and having a real wood table would last longer it would be a better use mm -hmm. and definitely we're going to get our use out of it yeah yeah Okay. Good. Seems good. Yeah. Anything else? Do you know? So the next steps forward. Um, do you feel that you want to think about all of this? And come back and meet again, or do you want to say so you're ready to vote on this? <coughs> I think there's a lot of information here that needs to be digested. Uh, if we're going to do as much borrowing as we had uh, expected, we need to talk about what that looks like. I think I'd like to see it, if we're, when we talk about borrowing, see it in the context of what the upcoming borrowing is for the next year or two also. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because this is the second round of, um, and we have everything by fiscal year. And this, we've technically already done our fiscal 19 capital. We did that at the fall town meeting. Mm -hmm. and there'll be another one coming up at this fall town meeting. I'm sure there'll be more capital items. So if, we, if we're making a separate decision on the, in the spring, I don't know how we're going to be able to tell people this is what it, the, 
give them a picture of what's coming up over the next year or two. I think that's more useful than, to them, not just to know exactly what an item is going to cost them in their tax rate, but to know what things are looking like over the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to revisit your, um, your more comprehensive mm -hmm. capital plan over the next pits for us to talk about and see how these things get plumped in. In fact, I don't think everything there is in these. It isn't right now, no. Uh, no. A lot of new Sorry. things, a lot of new things came out. Well, I can help. We, we can, I can work with you on that and yeah. get those, those things updated, too. Yeah, and I think some of these things are easier to vote on than others. Um, you know, things that are coming out of water and sewer reserves that are kind right. of needed are easy to vote on, I think, more than right. a borrowing, uh, you know, for a lot of other stuff. So, and it seemed like <clears throat> municipal building had, mm -hmm. you know, to kind of sharpen their pencils a little bit too, as far as what there was money for, or what they want to get request. On those and, um, uh, Especially if we're going to be borrowing, we don't want to be uh, stepped up in too many projects waiting. I don't want to borrow until we're we're ready to to work on a project. So if the projects are coming out of capital yeah. utilization, that's fine. But if we're planning our borrowing again, um, do we are you really uh, ready for the these next projects? Considering that we've got a few that haven't yeah. been addressed yet. Yeah, yeah. So let's get that lined up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and all these are debt excluded. All these that are proposed. Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. No, it depends on what we come down to. There might be some smaller ones, and I, th I think that's ultimately that's the plan that we like is that we have a, a regular turnover of smaller items that run through within the levy, and don't have to go. I mean, to have people going and voting, you know, ten thousand on mm -hmm. office furniture. I mean, that's part of the reason we do within the levy is that not every single item goes out and has an override ba a ballot. We save that for the, I'd like to see us saving those for the larger items that they're going and voting, voting on a $100,000 uh, project or a $80,000 piece bring of equipment. If you capacity within the uh, Prop 2.5 levy, then you'd be able to squeeze some of these in there without any smaller impact ones. at all. Smaller mm -hmm. ones, exactly. Because it does look like, even though um, I can keep it full for the next couple of years, we can also do a little bit of spreading out. And that's what we did this past year. And since some of them were large uh, building-related items, they're actually going into the bond that we're going to be funding So, um, in, in July. So, um, yeah, I'd like to spend a little more time and, and come up with a dollar amount that we suggest come within the levy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just looking at the uh, FY2020 uh, plan, looking at what we have to borrow for, I'm looking at 100000 200000 that's three. And then we have um, 900,000 plus another 700,000 on top of that. So what are we at? Uh, 1 million six, 600,000 is on the ticket to be borrowed in the, uh, in the fall. And Paul, I'm just, I'm just doing calculations oh. in my head. I'm not, I'm not necessarily reading. Okay. You're talking so, about new items. Yeah, so you got the girls' locker room for 600000 You got the... Uh, or not. There's a grant, right? They applied for a grant. They applied for a grant, but... Univents. Univents are now 700000 not two sixty. <laughs> Another grant. So when, we got when the... When will they hear on those grants? Um, probably December. Oh. Merry we got the uh, emergency generator for a hundred thousand. We yeah. have an international loader for two hundred thousand. We have fire department roof and bay expansion is on the twenty twenty one. We haven't even yeah, talked about that. I don't. I, don't I haven't heard anything about that. We're not so ready for that. That's I think that <laughs> we'd have to get kicked I'm out. I'm telling my house move out of town. We move to Amherst. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I don't think so. After all this. So, uh, uh, but yeah. that's that's by way of saying that there's a larger context, which is what Linda is saying. Right there, that we're going to look at the small borrowing. How does it fit into the big borrowing picture? Yeah, and right. some of these items, you know, the cleaning and repair of the ditches, the hot, hot box unit, skid steer. I mean, those things do help, hopefully, save money over the long run if the roads are in better shape and get access to more spots. Yeah. You know, so there's that too, but. And uh, maybe a 
something I can bring up at the select board meeting tomorrow is how the select board is feeling about having an, an on-call consultant um, available mm -hmm. for the projects. Mm -hmm. If that's something we still want to pursue and you know, we have 50,000 in capital right now yeah. for that individual if we want that available. So we have the money if we need it. Do you want to set another meeting date? Yeah, do you guys want to set another one? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Another day that works. After select one. <laughs> Five thirty work for everybody. Yes. Five thirty so good. That's like good. It. Mondays are good too. Excellent. How about Monday the first, April Fools? No joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds good. Monday the what? April Fools' Day. Nobody pulling any pranks, Harry. Right? No, not at all. Oh, I'll yeah, right. I see that. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be good yeah. as gold. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm watching you. Five thirty. Five thirty. I'll post it. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Still have trouble with this when it is all day. Okay. Hey, motion, well, motion to adjourn. Thank you. Hi.